All right, welcome to my mess. I am about to pack up my bag for a backpacking trip. We're going for three nights and four days. And this is a brand new bag. This is the Ultra Spire Epic XT 2.0. Um, so I just thought I would show you what I'm putting in there and how it all fits. So starting out with, I have my bag and then I have a dry bag inside, lining it just in case I end up with a really extreme thunderstorm or I end up going for a swim with my bag um, on any of the river crossings to keep everything nice and dry. So inside of there, I am going to place my tent. To save weight, I take my tent out of its uh, container and I'll just pack it individually. So I have my poles here. This is the Sierra Designs uh, Sweet Sweet. It's a three person tent. So there we go with that. Then I'm going to pack my sleeping pa pad, which is a Thermarest Neo Air. Now that that's all in there, I'm going to take my sleeping bag, which is a Thermarest Parsec. Um, it's rated for minus six comfort rating. Again, not in its um, compression sack or anything. I just pack it directly in. Trying to squeeze out all the air bubbles in my pack. A lot of the time I don't bring a stove when I backpack, but on this trip we're not going hyper late, light, so I will be bringing a stove. I have my jet boil here and then I have it stuffed full of my oatmeal for the morning. Um, just no air, empty air pockets in my bag. I want to make sure all my space is utilized. So you can see there's oatmeal. And with my oatmeal I have... Um, hemp hearts and raisins and whole milk powder just to add some nutrients and make it a bit more tasty. And then I have a medium fuel canister because there are three of us. We're all going to be eating. So once that's in there, then I start packing my clothing. I have one pair of pants. I have a Gore-Tex jacket. Luxury item because I think we'll be spending some time uh, at a lake is a bikini top. And an extra pair of socks. And a long sleeve t-shirt. So the forecast is for very, very hot days, so I'm not bringing a whole lot of clothing. Uh, emergency items, I have two buffs here. Um, I just find that these are really good multi-purpose. Excellent, so that's it for my main compartment. And then I just go ahead and stuff the rest of my bag with food. But before I do that, I should probably put in my first aid kit. So inside here, I have lube for chafing and a lighter. And then I have two more lighters in here. I'll probably take one out. So another lighter, a puffer for asthma. I have painkillers, uh, antihistamine, stuff like that. Bandages, duct tape, fire starter. Uh, scissors, 
are here. I bring fairly heavy duty scissors because I find that you end up using scissors quite a lot. compartment which is full and then I just start filling up the other part of my bag with food so I have tuna and mashed potatoes here And then on these front pockets, I put my snacks, which I want access to. So I have Oreos. And candy in those pockets. Along with that, I have meat sticks, I have pudding, four different bags. I use pistachio and um, lemon flavor, which is really nice. Just add water and shake. I have coffee and sugar here, Triscuits, and more oatmeal. Awesome. And then another luxury item, I have my uh, mosquito repellent, which is 30%. I'm just going to throw this up here. And also up here I have um, electrolyte tablets because it's going to be really hot, like I said. I have a second tube of it here. Okay, and finishing off, I have sunscreen. I have um, contact lens solution and all my air care, eye care stuff. And then I also have an empty bowl, which normally I would have put food in, but I forgot. And I have a filter here. So stuff that here. my water filter oh and a spoon that's important bringing for this trip again it's four days three nights if you want to see how this pack fits I have my um, bear spray in the front here and then I have a front pocket here where I'll put my phone and I'll also put my cords and an extra battery charge pack for charging my electronics because I have my watch and I like to keep track of that stuff. So there's my pack. Hope this ghetto video um, kind of helps you think about what you're putting in your pack, how it feels. Also, I really love this particular pack. You can see it sits 
super well, very um, stable on the back, not too heavy. Uh, it comes in at two pounds if you're using the frame like I am today and 1.6 if you're not using the frame. Happy trails.